Good afternoon, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, etc., etc. Uh, as you'll see here, this is the face of uh, Mario. Uh, no last name, I mean, in canon, I guess. I was going to refer to him by his full name, but seeing as he has no first, or he has no last name, he has a first name, really no first name, because uh, that would be imply that he has a second name or a middle name, and he has another, neither, so he has one name. Uh, and he is right here on my screen. I can make him appear exasperated. I can make him close his mouth for good, so he shuts up about all of his opinions. I can make him hold it there and then take his ear out as well, so he looks like a man who has both closed his mouth and has long ears, and then I can to add insult to injury, lift that up so he can't see over his giant bulbous nose that he should be totally ashamed of. Uh, I can't really mess with the mustache. Ah, I, okay, I guess I didn't grab anything. Nope, grab the mouth again. This is uh, unimportant. What is important is this is Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64. And this is a little experiment. I'm calling Insfig, which I will call every. It's an anagram. It's not really an anagram. Well, it is an anagram because I attempted to say the entire thing out loud. So, hey, what do you know? Every Nintendo 64 game is the main points. The first. No, I want to go back to the regular. First uh, aspect of that implies that, first of all, I need to own every Nintendo 64 game. At some point in my life, I would like to do that. Right now, I own about a sixth of the library. It is a relatively small library, by the way. And uh, I'm doing an order, a chronicolo chronological order, which means uh, play through every game in the order they were released. Of course, I will start with Super Mario 64 and not its... Um, I don't know if you call it sister launch game or whatever. The game that came out at the same time as Super Mario 64 was Pilot Wing 64. Uh, and it uh, is also a game. I don't think it exemplifies exactly the launch of the Nintendo 64, the Nintendo 64 in general, as well as Mario does. Uh, I should be studying for midterms right now. Uh, but I'm not. I'm procrastinating, and like many good things, this is born out of procrastination. So hopefully this ends up being a good thing. If it ends up being a bad thing, I'm not that disappointed because, uh, who's really watching? Uh, well, Lakitu is, or Lakitu. I've seen many people pronounce his name different ways. I'm not going to read this. Also, you see, I'm not trying to show all of these games to you as fully as, like, a quote-unquote... Uh, let's play or anything like that. I am just trying to beat all of them. And the definition of beat will change for many different games. For instance, Pilot Wing 64, it's, you know, it's a loose definition of what is having beaten the game. Uh, you know, if I 100% everything, I can call that beaten. Really, if I just beat every stage, I call that beaten. Beaten. So in this, you know, you do the minimum amount of work required to get, I believe it's 80 stars, I will not jump into the painting there, beat Bowser the third time, and also the first two times, but that was implied, and then get to the end of the game, and earn the cake that was promised to you in the beginning. This game was actually the first to promise cake, I can't think of one other game in history that actually promised it, um, more games should do that, I think it would be funny. Uh, we got all these Goombas. See, the Goomba is appropriately the first enemy in Mario 64, which I think is nice. And then you got the bob which is eh, less appropriate. You don't really get into an enemy invented by Mario 64 for a little bit. That should be a cannon at some point. I should really stop jerking around. Well, I guess the water cannon is technically a water bomb cannon. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, hello. The thing used to scare me really bad. Uh, and I remember 2000, I think, 11, there was a ROM hack that came out called Kaizo Mario 64, and everybody joked about it because the guy's uh, idea of making a really difficult game basically involved uh, putting fire everywhere and chain chomps everywhere. Um, and very little else, very little uh, difference in terms of every level. 
But when I saw the first, it was a playthrough by some uh, Let's Player I used to watch, I forget who it was, uh, did the first level, I mean, the first level was completely overrun by Chain Chomps, and I actually started to feel, like, really uneasy, I guess, because it was something that really uh, frightened me as a child. And I was in high school at that point, and, you know, that, that stuff doesn't totally go away over years, you know, I can kind of hang around with you. Hopefully I can brave the bad controls here to make it over the plank. <clears throat> that stuff kind of sticks with you, though. You know, you have phobias and stuff. I had phobias that I developed at a uh, Joe's Crab Shack when I was five years old that I still sort of hold on to, to today. I kind of got over it in high school. Um, and I guess, I, I, don't, I wouldn't call it a phobia of the chain chomp, but I would say that uh, it frightened me as a kid, and as a young adult, a teenager, if you will, I was still a little afraid of it, uh, at least in my mind somewhere. I mean, I, I could feasibly reason that the chain chomp was not going to, in fact, get me, uh, or anything, or hurt me, or whatever. Uh, okay, I gotta punch him in the back, which means pick him up. There we go. This is King bob -omb. He said something to you beforehand. I don't remember what it was. Probably something like... I'm gonna beat you, Mario. Something like that. What are you doing on my hill? He might not know his name. He might be like, who's this guy with the hat? Uh, I'm just running around him here. I assume that was how you do it. Nope. Oh, okay, there we go. So now he's not so much... Okay. There we go. We made the proper... No, he didn't. Okay, how bad is that? That's gonna be bad. Okay. Well, that is just life, isn't it? Uh, I wouldn't expect the commentary in the series to be super uh, insightful or dramatic. It'll basically detail if it's a game I played before. Oh, God, I jumped off. Am I gonna have to talk to him again? No. Okay. No. No. Nah, nah, nah. If it's something I've played before, I will talk about my previous experiences with it. If it's not, I will do my best to talk about my current experiences with it. Um, i got to get around him to the outside. And he just does not notice I'm back here. That's a good thing. That gives me many opportunities to punch him in the back, thus making me throw him slightly on the ground. Now, a lot of people I knew... Ah, damn it. Well, just throw me over there. Don't, don't let me go off the edge. Don't let me get too deep. Don't let me get too deep. So, Ensvig is starting out incredibly well. With Mario. Hey, well, I got a shot here. I'm going to run around a little bit. Dive. Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm dead. Okay, no, I'm not. Eh, you know, I... Gotta figure that out. I could blame the camera on that. I won't, though, as I am an adult and I can own up to my own mistakes. I can blame the game on that, though. I had him. I had him. I had him! There we go. Now I have him. And this brings the end of the bob on the king, because three times on his back, far too many. Twice, you get over. Once, you're an asshole, but okay. Zero is the preferred Three times is enough to kill a man or a giant bob -omb. Four times, nobody's even asking about that. So, high score, of course, 22 coins. The highest of scores. And I can open some of the sealed doors. Uh, I could follow the game's instructions, but I think I will do a cool flip jump back into the painting, as I just definitely did and did not mess that up. Now we get the foot race with Koopa the Quick. Uh, who's the first Koopa Trippa in Mario 64? Uh, the Koopa Troopas died an unfortunate death. Well, not really a death or extinction or whatever. They just, they just kind of fell out during the uh, Nintendo 64 era, especially. They, I mean, they just kind of stopped hanging around with Mario. You notice the, the Koopa Troopa was replaced by Wario. In Mario Kart, or er, shit! Oh God, my mom, get away! <laughs> Things suddenly got real. Uh, I am gonna do this because this is by far the most interesting thing to put on camera. 
Anyway, as I was saying, Koopa Troopas kind of fell out of favor with Nintendo or the Mario universe or something in the uh, Nintendo 64 era. They went from, oh god, there he is. They went from a mainstay enemy in uh, Mario World, Yoshi's Island, etc. Um, then they went to a very rare enemy. I mean, I think this is the only Koopa in the game. I could be totally wrong, but they weren't in every level, that's for sure. Whereas in the older games, they certainly were. And, uh, you know, they weren't in Mario Kart, weren't in any of the Mario parties. Oh, shit. That would be a terrible way to lose. Jump off the, uh, flag. Of course, you can climb up the flagpole and do that. So that's, uh, really a marvel of modern innovation in gaming. That he can hurt himself from his own stunts. A great lesson for children, really. If you, you know, climb too high, you may impress people, but you will ultimately get injured when you fall back down. I wouldn't say expect commentary in this series to be sparse, but expect it to be... Uh, I'm not going to talk for every second of the episode. Because who wants... Because I will just ramble if that happens. i got to shoot to the island in the sky, uh, which is my favorite Weezer song. Um, it said Bon Voyage. It's interesting how that's become an American phrase. You know, Bon Voyage, but... Bon Voyage. See, I'm learning French already. I have a French midterm I should be studying for. That was a precursory information you should have known, and that would have been funnier. Uh, Big Bob Bomb is nothing but a big dud now. If you ever read that uh, Mario 64 Mysteries Guide on GameFAQs, or it wasn't on GameFAQs, it was a GameFAQs user who hosted it on his own website because GameFAQs was like, no, we're not going to put this on the site. There was a theory that he says, the, oh shit, the Big Bomb Bomb, bleh, the Big Bob Bomb is nothing but a dud now. And if you look in that little, I'll show you where it is, it's over in this area over here that I'm pointing with the cannon cursor. Um, oh, God, I can't go up too high. Well, this is a mistake. Not the cannon I wanted. Or is it? Yes. Excellent. Things are just getting better and better. And there is the star right there, right in front of our very eyes. If you look in that little ravine, I don't know what to call it, ditch, if you will, there are, were 1.3 of the big black, uh, like, steel-looking balls. And there are now four. And so this man's uh, opinion was that, theoretically, the, the Big bob -omb became one of the small ones. I don't remember what the title of this was. Find the eight red coins. Okay. I assume I will need to find eight red coins. They left that kind of ambiguous in the title, though. I don't blame them. It really makes a better game. Is there one down here? No. I don't remember if you can hang from this. You can. That was another weird thing. People were just like, people were just confused on GameFAQs in like 2004. Like, why can you do this? There's no point. You just can. There's no reason to hang up there. And the bridge underneath Peach's castle, uh, or not underneath, but I mean outside of Peach's castle to the moat, you can also hang off of that, even though it's technically impossible to get up there. There's also two coins that are technically impossible to get, which I always found interesting. This is a neat little area. Um, so there are two coins, there's one star thing, there's four of these little posts, and then there are, I believe, five trees. Neat. And two Goombas, just to throw off our little math fun. Very rudimentary math, but math nonetheless. No. Okay, the bob -omb's gonna chase me, but I do have the speed to get away from the bob -omb. Remember that Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games? Did I die? Oh, okay, sorry. I looked up at the right corner of the screen for a second, and it had three. I thought that was lives, but I don't remember dying. Anyway, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I remember an advertisement or, like, some copy that somebody had written said, we'll finally get to truly figure out who is faster, Mario or Sonic. Which always confused me because, I mean, nowhere 
in the description of Mario did I think fast. I thought, you know, regular speed, you know, the, the, no more or less speed than the average person. Possibly, you know, the average athlete. Also, I hear if you kill this bob -omb, and I will, ruthlessly, right off the edge. Goodbye. Never to be seen again. That cannon stops functioning, but also I didn't stay over there long enough to figure out if that was the case or not. I don't remember where the red coins are. I should have pointed that out at some point. Uh, is that one down floating in the air somewhere? I can look up here from this tall ledge. Possibly see flickering red coins, but instead I see nothing. Nothing at all. Another waste of a day. The Life of Mario, and that rumor turned out to be shit, just like everything else that video game fans have peddled me over the years. Trust nobody, especially not fans of games. It's on that tree. Uh, we'll point out I do have a trigger thumb right now, so if it seems like I'm imprecise on the thumbstick, you can blame that, or you can blame the uh, thumbstick itself. Uh, either is very capable, just do not blame my own ability because I'm a perfect specimen of a human being. Uh, and we're in cargo shorts right now, by the way, so if you'd like to debate on that uh, last comment I made, that's a very good place to start. Okay, camera, I gotta work with me. I like how the Koopa doesn't actually hurt you. Like, if, if I walk into him, he'll just be like, oh, he's afraid of me now. Then if I jump on him, I do get to take a shell, which is nice, but I won't. Because I'm not a mean man, I'm just a regular person looking for an 8th red coin, which does not appear to be anywhere in the level. Perhaps they forgot. That would be something you'd think people would have uh, remembered. Or perhaps it's down here. Yeah, it's down there. I gotta go <sighs> all the way back up to get to it. That wasn't a exasperated sigh about the game, that was me being disappointed in myself. Okay, I gotta get around the, the uh, whatever that's called, dog, fake, false dog, whatever. Oh, shit, oh, you see that acrobatics? Yeah, it was some Matrix mode. Right there, now there's a bomb behind me and a switch in front of me. I need to decide if the bomb is faster than the switch. Uh, I'll never get to find out as I run up here. Because I figured out that I could make it. And we are, thankfully, right beneath the star. No, we're not. Thankfully, we are right near the star. I was going to do that with some sweet parkour move, but there was a little... I'll stop with that. I believe that is the fourth star, yes, as it flickers in the upper right corner, I am correct. And if the next one is Wing Mario to wherever, uh, I'll just get the Chain Chomp one. I will just get the Chain Chomp one, ladies and, and gentlemen. Like how I started saying that as like one word, ladies and gentlemen, and then switched it into three words when I figured out it wasn't emphatic enough. This one was the hardest one to get, again, with my fear of this giant thing that could very easily eat me. Uh, which isn't a terrible thing to be afraid of. Uh, if I can think of worse things to be afraid of. Ice cream. Ice cream socials. Uh, former President George H.W. Bush. Uh, just having the inability to speak at lengths uh, and come up with funny, somewhat random uh, topics. That would be an awful fear that I had, and if I had that, I would probably not be good at this, because I'm coming up with hot political commentary as we speak, and I haven't hit the post once. No. Ah, see, Mario would be a, a, a bad soccer player, because in soccer, if you hit the post, that's a bad thing. Uh, but he sees it as a good thing, and I have to assume that Mario cannot discriminate between soccer posts and uh, regular non-soccer posts. So granted, that post is for a dog. Uh, we'll get 
back to green health. I don't need that red coin. I'll leave it there for some time when I do need it because I'm going to get the chomp and I'm going to get them right now. No. Okay, we'll kind of miss. Damn. Wow, he got me. I think I think if he hits me, I die. If he hits me, I die. Okay. Whew. I'm not a gambler, but I am um, something else. Uh, and I will get the red coin. And I will stomp this. Free this dog. Free this big circular dog of, to which somebody owns. And he's going to break that fence because he's ecstatic that he's gone. And he's just gone forever. I think he takes a chunk out of the br out of the uh, mountain too. I don't remember. So there we go. Five stars. We're part of the way there. Not all the way there. Twenty-one minutes in. Mario sixty-four. Thank you for joining me on the first day of this uh, adventure into outer space. We call Ensfig. I will see you again sometime around. Uh, goodbye. I'll think of a catchy phrase next time. If you'd like to submit one, tell it to me in the comments or tweet it at me at Joe Bush underscore Joe Bush. Thanks. Okay.